Hi everybody, it's Patricia here. I am going to do a book haul for you. And book haul slash what I'm reading now. And what I am reading now is also part of my book haul. So we'll just get into what I'm reading. And that will be... I was first to know I didn't do a what I'm reading on this book. But I didn't check my some videos on it, so I'll do it again anyway. And that's The Diviners by Libra Bray. So, um, as you, like, I am really enjoying this book. Like, I never, when I saw the book in the hardcover, I'm like, okay, like, you know, sometimes for me, covers just don't pique my interest. But when these came out, and then there's two of them in the back of, oh boy, I hate when I get busy. They are, the second one's Liar of Dreams, and the third one is Before the Devil Breaks You. And that's, I guess, their new covers. So I said, well, give it a shot. And it says, do you believe there are ghosts and demons and diviners among us? Evie O'Neill has been exiled from her boring old hometown and shipped off to the bustling streets of New York City, and she is positively ecstatic. It's 1926, and New York is filled with speakeasies, Zegfeld fell girls, and rackish pickpockets. The only catch is that she has to live with her Uncle Will and its unhealthy obsession with the occult. Evie worries he'll discover her darkest secret, a supernatural power that has only brought her trouble so far. But when the police call Will to do a crime scene of a murdered girl branded with a cryptic symbol, Evie realizes her gift could help catch the serial killer. As Evie jumps headlong into the dance with a murderer, other stories unfold in the city that never sleeps. And unknown to all, something dark and evil has awakened. Now, like it's, I'm not too far into it. I am, let's see, page, page what? 148, and the, the book I think itself is like 400 and, 400 and, 468 pages. So, but like I am, like I'm liking this more than I actually thought I would. So, um, I'm looking forward to getting the, the, ne the next two books, and there's a fourth one coming out, but I can't really think of the uh, title right now, but um, I'm going to continue reading this, and so far, so good. It got me interested. It's almost like a, to me, it's almost like a mystery, like a mystery uh, to be solved or crime mystery type thing. Let me know what you think it is, like what, where it goes in the comments below. Anyway, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That one is 11, so um, anyway. the next four books are the first four books in a series. And they are from Artemis Fowl. I got this is the first book, obviously, Artemis Fowl. The second one is Artemis Fowl, The Arctic Incident. That's the cover for that one. Uh, the third one, The Eternity Code. That one. And the, the next one is The Opal Deception. Now, I got the first one to see, actually, if I... Um, liked it enough to get the uh, more books from it and what I read like I was in the middle I was still reading this when I when I did the first few few pages of of this one and I'm like this it's really interesting it looks like I'm really gonna like it and that's why I got these ones and they were this one I got by itself, and the other three I got, it was like buy two, get 
one free. And these three were part of that uh, sale, so I decided to get those four. And I worry about picking up the rest as we go along, you know, which is, you know, yeah. So that's, that's that. Okay, so the next one I have is... Um, the Strange Case of the er Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. That's G-O-S-S -S for her name. It's like um, Dr. Jekyll, Miss Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And it's the first book in the series. So it's um, it goes, Mary Jekyll, alone and penniless following her parents' death, quickly finds herself drawn to the into the secrets of her father's mysterious past. A clue leads her to believe that Edward Hyde, her father's former friend and a murderer, may be nearby, and there is still a reward of, for information resulting in his capture. A reward that, could, that would solve all her immediate financial roles. But her hunt brings her not to Edward Hyde, but to Diana, his daughter, a near feral child left to be raised by nuns. With the assistance of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, Mary continues her search for the elusive Hyde and soon gathers around her more women, all of whom have been created through terrifying experimentation. Beatrice Rappaccini, Catherine Moreau, and Justine Frankenstein. When their investigations lead them to the to the discovery of a secret society of immoral and power crazed scientists, the horrors of their past soon arrive you know, on their doorsteps as well. And now it's up to the five women to stop the malicious machinations of the Societe de Alchemists. Quite simply, it's time for the monsters to triumph over the monstrous. And that, like it's like it sounded really, really interesting. So I said, I might as well uh, give it a shot. And the next one, the book, the second book in it, is European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewoman. That's the cover for the second book. Now, the third book, I should have looked it up before I came on. But there is a third book now in hardcover. It came out this year, I believe. So, um, that sounds really interesting. I'm really, I think I might get this one into this one next after I finish the, the Diviners. Now, the next book I um, came across, I just came across by happenstance, and that is Now Entering Adamsville by... Francesca Zappia, and she's the author of Eliza and Her Monsters. And now entering Adamsville, time to face your demons. Well, here's the back, watch if they're real. And like, I'm not really sure how much, what, what, I, what I know, let's see. I should keep these on my head, you know, let's see. Adamsville is full of ghosts. They haunt the old coal mine, take long walks along the lake, and watch visitors from the, from the storefronts. In Adamsville, ghosts and their stories are a way of life, attracting visitors that keep the small town alive. But Zora knows that the ghosts are real and not some tourist trap. She, and she knows what else lies hidden in the darkness. Now, Zora is being framed for a crime she didn't commit. With the supernatural running amok in Adamsville, she must track down the, two, the true culprit, clear her name, and protect her family and friends, her entire town, from creatures set on destruction. But in a small town obsessed with ghosts, getting people to believe the truth might prove to be impossible. Yeah, it's like a ghost story type thing. So, and when I saw this, the cover, for some reason, it remind, reminded me of um, Night Vale. I, like, 
I don't know, but it's like when I mentioned that to one of the guys that work at my local bookstore, he he's like, yeah, exactly, you know, that's so. It's like I'm looking forward to do, getting into this, and let's see, what was let's see, 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 see. Oh, come on. oh, there's the yeah top of the thing. It has like a little picture of trees or yeah, like it's like a forest. So I don't know if what the wrong all chapters are like that. Like it's yeah, all the chapters are like that with the the trees on the top. So um yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's another good read. Anyway, the next one I have is the third book in a series. And I've heard good things about the, the, the series as a whole. And that one is The Toll by Neil Schusterman. Now, the, uh, it's, yeah. The, other, the first book is Scythe. The second book is Thunderhead. And then there's The Toll. Now it says on the um, on the bookstore website that it says it's a trilogy, but um, I don't. I'm not really sure. But um, anyway, I'm not going to go into detail in this because I haven't read the other two books yet. So I have to. Um, I want to get into that before I get to this. So and the covers. Inside, I don't know if you can see. Oh. It's purple. That matches his cloak or whatever you call it. And then the other two hair covers match colors on the on the uh, dust jackets of the of the book. So I thought that's pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting into this. Hopefully, I'll get to the first book again soon. So that's that. Uh, the next one. I've heard, actually, the next one I'll do as because it's also the third book in a series, and it's the third book in a series called Supernova by Marissa Meyer. Now, the first book is Renegades, and the second one is Arch Enemies. So, in this just came out, I think, like this past week, so I'm looking forward to, uh, it. oh, there's the, um, could have looked in the back of the book, like book number one and book number two, but, um, again, I'm not going to go into the much detail because I want to finish the other two books before I get into this one, so that's, that's that one there, so, and they're, they're like thick books, I thought it was, I'm not. I can't even. 500 plus pages on this one. Anyway, it's like I have all the time in the world to read because I have so many books. Anyway, that's that one there. Now, the next one I heard good things about because I just watched somebody and she just did a book haul on this. I can't remember who that was, but I could probably find it if I uh, if I uh, look it up. And that's The Merciful Crow by Margaret Alwyn. So that's that. Uh, okay. It wasn't that if I wanted to... Oh, let's see. Let's do this so I can read it. It wasn't that Phi wanted to burn the world down. No, she just wanted the world to know she could. Let's see. A future sh chieftain, a fugitive prince, a too cunning bodyguard, and one grumpy gray tabby. Phi, I think that's how I pronounce her name, F-I-E. Phi abides by one rule. Look after your own. In a few, as a future chieftain of the Shun Castle of Mercy Killers, 
She relies on her wits and bone magic, drawn in, drawn from the teeth of dead witches, to protect her band. The crows take more abuse than coin, so when they when they're called to collect the royal dead, Fi hopes they'll find the payout of the lifetime. When Fi discovers that Crown Prince, Prince Jasmere and his crafty bodyguard Tavin have faked their deaths to escape the ruthless Queen Rusana, she's ready to cut their losses. She's ready to cut her losses and perhaps their throats. But Jazz offers a deal that she can't refuse. Make sure he lives to see the throne, and he'll protect the crows when he reigns. To outrun and outwit the queen, the trio forge an uneasy alliance that is soon tested by old secrets, shifting allegiances, and forbidden feelings. As Rusana and her band of deadly trackers loom even closer, the three fugitives must discover what they each what they're each willing to sacrifice to save their own. Now I think this is a first oh look two. Well, I don't know if you can say anything I'm going too close on this. But there's a map. So like I'm Yeah, that is nice. So um I've been looking forward to that. I guess there's apparently there's a different oh it has it in here. It has it in here. Okay. Cast Okay. Well actually I just showed it to you myself. Research. It's basically says okay, the Phoenix is birthright is fire. Splendid cast is like the pe peacock, birthright glamour, swan, birthright desire, and dove, birthright artistry. Then there's the hunting cast. You have the heart, the hawk, which is birthright blood, crane, that's birthright truth, the owl, which is birthright mem memory, and the vulture is birthright hunting. It's the common cast, common cast, you have the gull, which is birthright, birthright wind, pigeon, birthright luck, sparrow, and it's birthright refuge. And then you have the crow, the crow, which is birthright none. So I guess it's like a hierarchy of um, birds, and you know, and a she Phi is a crow, which is like the lowest of the low. So it's you know, we'll have, to, we'll have to see how that plays out. Like I said, I heard a lot of good things about it. So now I'm really, really intrigued about how, how this is um, going to play out. Now, if anybody knows, if there's a, a, another book coming out after this, please, please let me know in the comments below. I think there is, but I'm not really sure. I'll have to look it up after I finish. So... There's that one. And then the last one I picked up is, I was looking at it and I give it a shot and, oh, and it's The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Now she was the author of The Night Circus. So, um, and I just, uh, uh, Watched a review on this by, um, oh, I can't remember her names. And anyway, she, I should uh, have this off. And um, she really enjoyed the book. Like she, her, The Night Circus was her favorite by uh, Aaron Morgan Stern, but, you know, and then she, but this one she really liked too. And it says, far beneath the surface of the earth, upon the shores of the starless sea, there is a labyrinthine collection of tunnels and rooms filled with stories. The entryways that lead to this sanctuary are often hidden, sometimes by forest floors, sometimes in private homes, sometimes in plain sight. 
but those who seek to find, but those who seek will find. Their doors have been waiting for them. Zachary Ezra Rollins is, is searching for his door, though he does not know it. He follows a silent siren song, an expl inexplicable certainty that he is meant for another place. When he discovers a mysterious, mysterious book in the stacks of his campus library, he begins to read and is entranced by tales of lovelorn prisoners, lost cities, and nameless uh, acolytes. Suddenly, a turn of pages, a turn of the page, brings Zachary to a story from his own childhood, and possibly written in this book that is older than he is. A bee, a key, and a sword emblazed on the book led Zachary to two people who will change the course of his life. Mirabelle, a fierce pink-haired pink painter, and Dorian, a handsome barefoot man with shifting alliances. <clears throat> Sorry. These strangers guide Zachary through the masquerade party dances and whispered backroom stories to the headquarters of a secret society where doorknobs hang from ribbons and finally through a door conjured from paint to the place where he always yearned for. At, amid twisting tunnels filled with books, gilded ba ballrooms, and a wine-dark shores, Zachary falls into an intoxicating world soaked in romance and mystery, but a battle is raging over the fate of this place, and though there are those who will would willingly sacrifice everything to protect it, there are just as many intent on this destination and as Zachary, Mirabelle, and Dorian. Oh, I gotta sit. It's so savvy. Uh, as Zachary, Mirabelle, and Dorian venture deeper into the space and its histories and myths, searching for answers and one another. A timeless love story unspools, casting a spell of pirates, painters, lovers, liars, and ships that sail upon a starless sea. That sounds really, really interesting. And I know that this, take out the flap, and that's the cover. In, inside, look at that. That is nice. I just know I didn't even take the cup, the dust jacket off this, and I saw that when I was reading it. Now, um, there is Erin Morgan's story. That's her right there. But, um, this sounds really interesting. Like, I tried, I read some of uh, the nice Night Circus, and it wasn't bad. Like, it's just, I think it was one of those books I just couldn't get into. But I, but I wanted to give this one a shot just to see, see how it went. And I think I'm going to like it better than I like the, uh, the, the, the start of the circus, uh, the night circus. But, you know, what can you do? Anyway, if you've read any of these, let me know what you thought about them, like whether you liked them or or whether you didn't. Like it's, I like to hear both sides of the um, the spectrum. So I like to get everybody's opinion whether or not they did like it. And um, well, that's my book haul. And I hope everybody's having a great weekend. And I hope everybody come Monday, whether it's Remembrance Day in the in Canada or Veterans Day in the in the U.S., please remember your fallen soldiers who made our countries, both our countries, free for us. Whether they came back and were injured or made, they made this, the the um, ultimate sacrifice for our countries, please remember them. They will always be in our hearts, our prayers, and in our memories. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I shall talk to you soon. 
and have a great night. Goodbye. Ooh.